Feeling trapped in a relationship? Here's how to spot the red flags and reclaim your happiness. Understanding these signs is crucial in ensuring your emotional well-being and fostering a fulfilling partnership. Here's a detailed breakdown of 10 red flags indicating an unhealthy relationship along with their healthy counterparts to help you identify and navigate these situations effectively. Let's start. 1. Unhealthy. You feel like you can't be yourself around your partner. If you feel like you have to hide your true self in order to keep your partner happy, then you are not in a healthy relationship. You should feel comfortable being yourself with your partner, and they should love you for who you are. Your partner should love and appreciate you for who you are, quirks and all. You can look in the direction of your partner, but also within yourself. Are you confident? Do you feel you are worth it? That you are enough? The healthy counterpart of this is, you feel comfortable being yourself around your partner. In a healthy relationship, you should feel confident expressing your thoughts, feelings, and opinions without hesitation. Your partner should embrace your individuality and encourage you to be true to yourself. You can check in with yourself on how you feel about this in your relationship by asking yourself some questions like, Do I feel like I have to hide my true self to keep my partner happy? Do I have the urge to act differently around my partner? Do I think my partner will still care about me if I am truly myself? 2. Unhealthy. Your partner is constantly criticizing you. If your partner is always criticizing you, then it is a sign that they are not supportive of you. Do they like and love you for who you are, or do they want to change you into someone else? They should be building you up, not tearing you down. Healthy counterpart. Your partner is supportive of you and builds you up. A supportive partner recognizes your strengths and encourages you to pursue your goals. They offer positive reinforcement and celebrate your successes. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner's criticism make me feel belittled or insecure? Why does my partner feel the need to criticize me all the time? It might be his insecurities causing it. 3. Unhealthy. Your partner is not respectful of your boundaries. If your partner is not respecting your boundaries, then it is a sign that they do not care about your feelings. They should respect your right to say no and should not pressure you into doing things you are not comfortable with. Healthy counterpart. Your partner respects your boundaries and values your autonomy. A partner who respects your boundaries will listen to your needs and wishes, and they will not pressure you to compromise your comfort or safety. They will value your autonomy and allow you to make decisions independently. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner respect my right to say no? Do they pressure me into doing things I'm not comfortable with? 5. Unhealthy. Your partner is controlling. If your partner is controlling your every move, then it is a sign that they are trying to isolate you from the people and things that you love. They should want you to be happy and have a healthy social life. Healthy counterpart. Your partner allows you to have your own life and encourages you to pursue your own interests. A healthy partner values your independence and encourages you to pursue your passions. They will support your friendships, family relationships, and personal goals, knowing that these things enrich your life and contribute to your overall happiness. Questions to ask yourself. Do I feel free in this relationship to do what I want and to make my own decisions? Does my partner try to isolate me from my friends and family, limit my access to information, pressure me into making decisions that go against my own desires? 5. Unhealthy. Your partner is verbally or physically abusive. If your partner is verbally or physically abusive to you, then it is a sign that they are in a dangerous relationship. You should not stay in a relationship where you are being hurt. Healthy counterpart. Your partner never raises their voice to you or uses physical violence. A healthy partner will communicate calmly and respectfully even during disagreements. They will never resort to physical violence or threats of harm, and they will respect your physical boundaries. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner threaten me 
or make me feel afraid. 6. Unhealthy. Your partner is always making you feel guilty. If your partner is always making you feel guilty, then it is a sign that they are trying to manipulate you. They should not make you feel bad about yourself. Healthy counterpart. Your partner never makes you feel bad about yourself or your decisions. A healthy partner will never make you feel bad about yourself or your choices. They will support your decisions, even if they don't always agree with them. They will encourage you to take responsibility for your actions, but they will not blame or shame you. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner make me feel like I'm responsible for their happiness? Do they use guilt to control my behavior? 7. Unhealthy Your partner is not supportive of your goals and dreams. If your partner is not supportive of your goals and dreams, then it is a sign that they do not care about your happiness. They should be encouraging you to reach your full potential. Healthy counterpart Your partner encourages you to pursue your goals and dreams and supports you along the way. A healthy partner will cheer you on as you pursue your goals and dreams. They will offer encouragement, support, and practical assistance when needed. They will celebrate your successes and help you overcome obstacles. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner discourage me from pursuing my dreams? Do they make me feel like I'm not capable of achieving my goals? 8. Unhealthy. Your partner is not there for you when you need them. If your partner is not there for you when you need them, then it is a sign that they do not care about you. They should be there to support you through thick and thin. Healthy counterpart. Your partner is there for you through thick and thin, offering support and understanding. A healthy partner will be there for you when you need them, both emotionally and practically. They will listen without judgment, offer comfort and reassurance, and help you through difficult times. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner prioritize their own needs over mine? Are they emotionally unavailable when I need them? Are they unable to understand my pain or stress? 9. Unhealthy. Your partner is always making excuses for their behavior. If your partner is always making excuses for their behavior, then it is a sign that they are not taking responsibility for their actions. They should be willing to apologize and make amends for their mistakes. Healthy counterpart. Your partner doesn't need to make excuses for their behavior and takes responsibility for their actions when needed. They will say sorry when they need to and will not need to feel badly for what they did when their intentions were good. Questions to ask yourself. Does my partner never take responsibility for their mistakes? Do they blame others or make excuses for their actions? 10. Unhealthy. You feel like you are always walking on eggshells around your partner. If you feel like you are always walking on eggshells around your partner, then it is a sign that you are in a toxic relationship. You should not feel like you have to constantly be afraid of your partner's reaction. Healthy counterpart. You feel comfortable around your partner and know that even when things get rough or when there is stress involved, you will always be respectful towards each other. Questions to ask yourself. Do I feel like I have to walk on eggshells around my partner to avoid upsetting them? Do I feel like I can't express myself freely? Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship that makes you feel happy, supported, and loved. If you find yourself consistently experiencing one or more of these red flags, it's important to take action. Talk to a trusted friend or family member, seek professional counseling, or consider ending the relationship if it's causing you significant emotional distress. You are not alone, and there is help available. Embrace your worth and prioritize your happiness. Thank you for watching and listening. If you want to learn more about self-improvement and personal development and relationships, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you next time. Namaste.